It's best practice to get things right in camera during your shoot day. However, we're only human. One of the easiest things to miss while shooting is flickering. Whether it's using the wrong lights during your shoot or the incorrect shutter speed, flickering in your footage can be detrimental to a project. But don't worry, I'll show you how to remove flicker from your footage inside of DaVinci Resolve and hopefully help salvage your project. Let's jump in. Oftentimes when making these tutorials, I forget to specify whether or not the method I'm teaching in the video is in the free version of DaVinci Resolve or the studio version. So going forward, I'm gonna be better at specifying which is which. But for this video, I'm actually gonna be teaching a method that is available in the free version, as well as some features that are only available in the studio version. So jumping into DaVinci Resolve, first off, I'm gonna show you the method that is available in the free version. And this is just an editing technique, so you could technically use this in any editing software. So let's take a look at our first flickering clip. If I were to use a clip like this in a project, this would be completely unusable because of all the flickering, but let's fix that. We're going to duplicate our video clip. Next, we're gonna click this button, which will turn off snapping, or you can just hit N on the keyboard. We're gonna zoom in here and move our top clip over by one frame. Now with the blade tool, we're gonna to cut off the excess here and then go to the end of the clip and cut off the excess here. With our duplicated clip selected, go up to the composite mode and set our opacity to 50%. Now play the clip back. Let's try that same method on this second clip. We'll go ahead and duplicate it, zoom in, move the clip over one frame, clean up these edits. And with our top clip selected, go over here to composite and set our opacity to 50% and let's check out the results. For those two examples, I use static clips because that's typically when this method works the best. When you start to introduce motion, either from your subject or camera motion, this effect can kind of fall apart and you see a lot of ghosting since the clips are offset by one frame. Here's an example where this method does not work very well. You can see the flickering calls from the lights over on his body here, and there's a lot of camera and subject movement. So let's try this first method on this clip. We'll go ahead and copy, move our clip over one frame, delete the excess, click on our duplicate, set the opacity to 50%, and you can already see the ghosting that's occurred here around his hand. Let's go ahead and play it. Technically this method worked and it removed the flicker, but now we have to deal with this ghosting, which is all around the edges of our subject as he's moving around. So if you're using the free version of DaVinci Resolve or an editing software that doesn't have this next effect, this could be your best bet. And in this case, it would really be up to you to determine whether the flickering or the ghosting is the better way to go. With that out of the way, let's jump into a really cool effect inside of DaVinci Resolve to help remove flicker. We'll go ahead and delete our duplicate clip and then we'll come over to the effects panel and click open effects. And at the search bar at the top, we're going to search for deflicker. Grab the deflicker effect and drop it onto our clip. Immediately, you'll see the image soften slightly. To fix that, with our clip selected, come over to the inspector and set the deflicker setting to floral light. This will bring back a lot of detail and improve sharpness. Now let's play the clip back. You can see adding just this one effect, it's removed all of the flickering within our video clip. Let's take a look at one more clip. Here we have some very chaotic flickering and banding within the clip. Let's grab our deflicker, drop it on our clip, change our setting to floral light, and let's play it back. You can see the image has been completely cleaned up. Over the inspector, you can change the output to detected flicker and play the clip back and it'll show you all the areas that it's fixing with the deflicker effect. For years, I used to use Adobe Premiere Pro as my primary editor. So I was constantly using this effect where you would offset the frame and change the opacity. And it worked great for a majority of the shoots that I did. But I'm curious, are there any plugins or other methods that you use to remove flicker from your videos? Leave a comment down below because I'm always trying to find a better way to improve my videos. Anyways, that's it from me. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button down below. 
It really helps the channel and it keeps me making these types of videos. Also, if you wanna stay up to date on any future videos I put out, hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you get notified whenever I drop a new video. Thanks for stopping by and checking out the video. I hope you're here to stay because I have a lot more content coming down the pipeline. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one.